Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brad Zappa and in today's video I'll be showing you a really awesome city tweak called BB Settings, which is essentially an SB Settings replacement when you update to iOS 5. It just adds some settings, just like SB Settings, along with a few other um, cool things you can do into your notification center. So to get BB settings, you're obviously going to need to have Cydia and you have to have a jailbroken device on iOS 5. And uh, you just need to go to the source I'll provide in the video description for you guys to check out. Uh, just add that source and it should be at the very top it called BB settings. Just download that. It is completely free and that's pretty much all you need to do. Once you have downloaded it, you just go to your settings application and go to notifications. And then it should be right here at the bottom. It should look just like this, BB settings. All you need to do is just enable it by clicking edit and then dragging it onto here, wherever you want, uh, just like this. Click done, and then it should be appearing in your notification center, just like this. Um, so currently we're at this favorite page, and I'll be showing you how to add uh, some favorite apps in just a moment. Uh, but when we get on with some other options you can see here, so if you go to this power button thing, uh, you can see everything that's in your multitasking bar. So if you scroll over, you can see all the apps that I've run in my multitasking bar. So you can just, let's see, Twitter. You can go over here and you can check out Twitter. Let's take this back. Uh, let's go to the App Store, just like that. So it's pretty damn cool. Uh, you cannot remove the apps. Come on. There we go. You can now remove the apps from the multitasking tray. That's the only thing that is not working with this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's multitasking right there. And over here is some system information uh, that you guys can check out. It has general, which is what we're at right now. It shows operating system, uh, device information, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to show you in this video because it's kind of sensitive. But you can check that out for yourself. You have your battery level here, which is at 84 for me. And that's pretty damn cool. I've looked at it myself, and it's, um, yeah, I kind of enjoy looking at that. It's interesting to see. Over here, you can have your disk usage. You can see the used, you can see the free, and all that good stuff. Over here, you have your memory usage, which is running kind of high for me. I'm kind of worried about that, but oh well. Um, yeah, you can check that out. You can see your CPU usage, and you have your Wi-Fi. Probably going to have to blur that out. Uh, cellular, if you're on an iPhone or iPad 3G. Uh, you have your processes here, and we're back to general. And that's pretty much it for that section. Go over here to this little icon over here, and this is the SB settings toggles uh, portion of this tweak. And over here you have your brightness controller, which doesn't seem to be one to work for me right now, but yeah, you can check that out if you have this on your device. You have your uh, killing all running apps button, so you can do that. Uh, you can have your respring button. And here, this does not work for me. I believe that's a location toggle for um, turning off and on your location, uh, but it doesn't seem to be one to work for me. Again, it's a beta firmware with a beta uh, tweak. And here we have 3G toggle. Obviously, I'm on, I'm on an iPod Touch, so that's not going to work for me. You have your Wi-Fi, so there you go. Wi-Fi just turned off, and uh, weather and stocks is turned off, so you can turn that back on. Uh, you have airplane mode. That's good. And you have Bluetooth. Again, this doesn't seem to be one to work for me, uh, but again, it's a beta, so yeah. Anyways, uh, you have your lock rotation, so that's good. You have your mute, so there we go. And over here, the wrench, come on, there we go. Uh, you have your brightness, so that's cool. You have your volume. And over here is some information about who made the Cydia tweak. You can check his Twitter out, you can donate to him, and you can just cancel. Uh, now this this part over here, the operator name, it doesn't seem to be one to work for me. I don't know if it's just because I'm on an iPod, uh, but if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, you can check this out. You can just type in whatever you want uh, your operator name to be, which is just over there. Uh, it should say like AT&T, Verizon, I don't know, Rogers, Bell, whatever carrier you're on, you can change that if you want. If it doesn't work, then again, it's just because it's a beta. Uh, so that's probably why you can tap done, and then it should either change or you need to respring uh, for that to work. But again, on an iPod Touch fourth generation, at least mine, it doesn't seem to want to work. And um, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you what the favorites area is, which I just showed you. Whoops. This favorites section over here that I showed in the very beginning. And how you add favorite applications is just go to this uh, little wrench thing and tap the star and it will bring up a little list of every single application that you have on your device. Uh, so let's see, let's add... 
Google Plus, Messenger, Twitter, and let's see what else we got here. Eh, what the hell? That Twitter, tap done. Go over here to your favorites, and here you go. You can uh, quickly access all these apps. So you just tap Twitter, switch over there, Twitterific. And this leg again. Uh, tch, tch, come on, come on. That was loud. <laughs> Anyways, you have Google Plus. Uh, you can just quickly access all these apps if you want. And I believe it's maximum four, but I haven't actually tried. Why don't we try this? Just add one more. Uh, what the hell? Cydia? Let's see if this works. Double star. Need to fix this. I don't know if it's because it's laggy or. Okay, yeah, so you can do pages, uh, so that's good if you have multiple apps that you want to have on your favorites. But that's pretty much BB Settings. It is a free tweak you can find in Cydia, and I uh, definitely recommend you should go check it out if you're on an iOS 5 device and you're jailbroken. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you did like this video, please be sure to like it up. As well, uh, you can also subscribe up top somewhere over there and comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions and any thoughts you have of this BB settings tweak. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.